Hey there, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk a bit about how to kind of clean up TickTick. -tick. You know, there's a lot of features within TickTick. -tick, and in my last video, I talked about how I'm mostly not using many of those features. Uh, really, I'm just using tasks. And I kind of showed my setup in the last video. And I'll put a link to my last video in the description. But really, I'm using a very minimal approach to TickTick. -tick. And so in this video, I thought I would just kind of walk you through if you were interested in setting your TickTick -tick up in a more simplified or minimalistic fashion on how you might do that. So uh, let's jump into TickTick -tick and take a look. All right, so what I have here is just a TickTick -tick system that has been kind of jumbled up. It's got uh, a couple different smart lists set up. It's got a filter. It's got some lists and a folder. It's got a few tags and some more smart lists down here towards the bottom. And aside from tasks, it's also got the calendar set up. It's got uh, the habit tracker, uh, Eisenhower matrix, and Pomodoro. So it's pretty much got, I think, everything set up that TickTick -tick offers. And so this isn't necessarily how TickTick -tick comes out of the box, but if you've signed up for TickTick -tick and you've played with it for a little while, you may find yourself in a situation where your TickTick -tick system kind of looks like this. Uh, kind of a little bit messy if really what you want to use it for is just for task management. So let's start cleaning it up. Now the first thing that I would clean up is I would shut off any of these things over here on the left side that I just walked through that I'm not using. So if you're not using the habit tracker, you should shut that off. If you're not using the Eisenhower matrix, you should shut that off, in my opinion, if you want to simplify things. So how you would do that is you would go up to the profile picture and then click settings and then from there you would click features so this is the list of features that is on that uh, far left side navigation pane that we just walked through so again i'm not using any of these things so in my system i'm shutting all of these off i shut off calendar eisenhower matrix habit tracker and pomodora and also the countdown is another thing that you can turn on or off and i'm also not using that so i'm going to leave that one off and right away, you'll see over here on this left navigation pane, now this is a lot more simplified, you know, where you only have tasks and search. So when I exit out of that, it refreshes the screen. One thing to know is you can rearrange this side. So if you want your tasks to be at the top and not search, you can kind of move things around. Um, with only two icons up here, it's not that big of a deal. But if you use more, uh, just know that you can rearrange this left navigation pane. All right, so that cleans up that pretty quickly. Uh, so the other thing that I shut off is filters and tags. If you're not using filters and tags, shut them off. So you may have set up a filter or set up some tags on accident. I, I constantly set up tags on accident. So you can come in here, you can hit the uh, ellipses over on the right side and you can delete the tags. Or if you want, you can just come over here and hit the ellipses on the tag header and you can just say hide. Now the tags will still exist in the system unless you delete each individual one, uh, but you will no longer see this tag section. So let's just delete these. Uh, that way they're not in the system anymore. And when we delete them, it pops up, says after deletion, you know, that tag is gonna be removed from any tasks that you happen to have uh, that tag on. So it won't exist in the system anymore, even on the tasks that already have that, which is fine. Uh, I'm not using tags right now, so I deleted all of my tags and then once they're all done I just hit the ellipses over here and say hide this section. Same with the filters. Uh, you can hide the filter section entirely just by hitting the ellipses on the filter header or you can first delete the filters. So this pop-up says tasks within the filter won't be deleted. We wouldn't expect them to be deleted on a filter uh, so we can go ahead and delete this filter without deleting any tasks and then we can hide the filter section. And so now you're left with just your lists and your smart lists. And for me, uh, a lot of these smart lists I turn off as well. Um, sometimes uh, I do want to see completed tasks. And sometimes I do want to see maybe the trash. But I can always turn them back on if I turn them off. So in order to turn these off, you can do it a couple different ways. So like, for example, the trash, uh, I can hit this right ellipses and I can just say hide. And it says trash is hidden. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can come up here to your profile picture, go to settings, and go to smart lists. And this is kind of the entire list of smart lists. 
And so this is really, I think, the best way to do it because you can kind of see the ones that are hidden as well. So if you wanted to turn on, you know, the won't do smart list, you could do that here. The other option here is show if not empty. I do use show if not empty. I use that on tomorrow actually. So let me jump up here to tomorrow. I like to see tomorrow only if there is a task that is dated for tomorrow. If I don't have a task that's dated for tomorrow, then it hides that tomorrow smart list because there's nothing in there for me to see and I don't need to see it. So then you can kind of just go down and hide all the lists that you don't want to see and show any list that you do want to see. Um, I skipped over inbox. So in my setup right now, I don't have an inbox. I don't know if you guys caught that on my last video or not, but I hid the inbox. And why did I do that? Well, a lot of this is just an aesthetic thing, right? I didn't want to see inbox. I only wanted to have a tasks list. So I could have just used the inbox as my tasks list, but I couldn't rename inbox. And so for some reason, I didn't want to put all of my tasks in a list called inbox. I wanted to put all of my tasks in a list called tasks. So I said, let me get rid of the inbox and use a different list called tasks. So I hid inbox. Now, one thing when you do that, you get a pop up here. It says default list cannot be hidden. It says, please modify the default list before action. So you have to select some list as the default list. And by default, <laughs> uh, no pun intended, by default, the inbox is the default list. But you can change that. So you can change your default list to some other task list. Now, I'm actually going to go create a different list. So I'm gonna cancel out of this real quick. Tick, tick, refreshes add new list, and I'm going to call it tasks. All right, and I'm just going to select a check mark. Uh, let's go with the green one. Okay, and it has to be a task list in order for it to be the default list. So we'll leave that as it is. And let's add this. So now if I go back to settings, smart list, and I go back to the inbox, which still says show because I didn't hide it last time because uh, I didn't select a default list. Let me select hide this time and now select my tasks list as my default list. Click modify. And now you'll see that the inbox is hidden and tasks is my default list. Now, what does that mean? That means anytime I add a new task, it's going to go to the tasks list. So let me jump over to my email and just forward a task to TickTick -Tick and see where it ends up. Okay, so I just went over to my email and I sent an email into my TickTick -Tick email address that lets me create tasks through email. And so in just a second, we should see it pop up here in TickTick. -Tick. To speed things up, I'll just hit this sync button down here and see if we can't get it to hurry up just a little bit. Okay, so there it is, finally popped in, and it says new task for YouTube. And so basically what I'm showing there is anytime you add a new task from anywhere, so if you're using like the Windows app and you're using the global keyboard shortcut to just add a new task, or like I did, you forward an email in to TickTick, -tick, uh, it's going to, by default, now use the tasks list because we've set that up as our default list. All right, so the other thing that I did was I kind of deleted all of my other lists beside tasks because, hey, I want this to be as simple as possible. So when I was cleaning up my TickTick -tick, uh, system, I just kind of went through here and deleted all of the lists uh, that I otherwise had. Now, you might want to go and um, just double check that you don't want to don't want to delete the tasks because if you delete lists like I'm doing right here, all those tasks are being deleted. And if you look at the pop-up, it tells us all tasks in this list will be deleted. So if you don't want to delete them, so say for example, let me cancel out of this, that these in progress tasks I did want to keep, I could just uh, hold shift, highlight them all, and I could move them a couple different ways, but I could just grab this handle here and drag those three items over to tasks. And now I've saved those and can safely delete the list without deleting the tasks. I'll delete this last list and then also this folder, which you hit ungroup to delete the folder. And so now 
This is a very simplified version of Tick Tick. All we have is one list called tasks. That's our default list. Any new tasks will be created in our tasks list. And if we happen to mark an item for today, uh, it will show up in our today view. Now, if we happen to mark an item for tomorrow, that tomorrow smart list will show up and that item will be available in the tomorrow smart list. So if you're looking to set up Tick Tick in a very simplified way, a very minimalist way, um, try shutting off a lot of these features. Now I realize a, a lot of the talk around Tick Tick is about all the features that they offer, um, but a lot of times what we really need is just a simple task management system. Sometimes we need it to be as simple as possible, and that's kind of where I'm at in my journey <laughs> anyways, uh, is I just need something that's very simple, and so that's kind of what we set up here today in this video. So let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. Um, let me know any feedback. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.